Well, I said I had a lawnmower, and there it is. Damn the legend. It's just dragged it out of the back of my van. I've got loads of other stuff that I completely forgot to record, but they're going to take that as on the alley, so we're going to wait to see where it goes. I've got, a, oh, I've got a little bit more in the van, but we've got to sort it out. We're going to put it on there. I'm going to lose 20 kilos, though, aren't I? Yeah, I might be. Well, he's going to put it on a big scale to see what it weighs. Right, so, what else have we got in the van? Just picked up a battery. That battery come out of that mower. That was outside my house this morning. Cooker, washing machine, all the bits of them boilers. I've got a few motors in here. Just a few other random bits of scrap that I've picked up, to be fair. Um, I've got quite a big day today. I've got, I'm picking up a big... Big safe, weighs 235 kilos. Um, I've got a mobility scooter to pick up, another boiler to pick up, and then whatever else gets picked up along the way. Um, and then later on, I've got to go to my mates, and I've got loads of, um, he's got a whole van load of scrap for me. Um, so, yeah. Well, I'm gonna get all this sorted out, show you what I've got, There's, that is a big chunk of alley. Um, yeah, loads and loads of bits and bobs, so. I'll, um, I'll let you know what I've got and I'll, um, I'll bring you back later. Well, the pile's gone down. It's a lot cleaner over here today. Um, I've just been informed that that lawnmower weighs 200 kilos. So that's pretty good, really. Um, if it's still 350 a kilo, then that's, two, that's 70 quid just for that lawnmower, which is a lovely little pickup. Um, just saying that drill actually works, but it's lost the thing on it, so that can go. I'll cut the lead off of that. This long pole can go. Well, I've got to cut this off because I do get a bit funny about things like that. Um, but listen, I, I ain't got my GoPro, so I've only got my phone. I need two hands. So what I'll do is I'll get the van emptied, get the van cleaned out, and then I'll um, I'll bring you back for the weighing sheet, and then you can come with me on my journey today. Go and pick up this massive safe um, mobility scooter, boiler, and like I say, whatever else we find along the way. All right, people, it wasn't a bad day, really, at the office. Oh, sorry, let me just take that gear. Um, so, for the light iron I had, which was basically a washing machine and a cooker, and there was a couple of, like, the, the, the remnants of them boilers, was 40 quid, so that's not too bad. The uh, the lawnmower went 200 kilos, and they paid 330 on that, so uh, 330 a kilo. Uh, 330 a ton, sorry, for 66 pounds. So that wasn't a bad pickup. One little pickup, 66 quid, lovely. Ali... It's dropped as well, Jesus. Everything's dropping, man. Really bad. 1890 for the bit of the alley. The motors paid 15 quid. Bit of stainless side that wasn't all stainless because I didn't test it. My bad. It was five pounds sixty. Another little bit of iron the alley that I had four pound ninety five. And then a few couple of batteries. Two batteries were 13 pound. Everything's dropping really, really bad. Um, it ain't no good. Well, it's a grand total of 164.44. Right, I've got, like I say, I've got a few pickups today. I've just mentioned the safe to use. They won't take it. So I'm going to have to message the fella and tell him I can't have it. A quarter of a tonne this safe weighs. 245 kilos. Um, but we can't open it. The fella's lost the key. Um, and like he's just said, Mark, he said, what if it turns up, we open it, it's got a dead baby in it or something like that. I mean, this is this is big enough to get probably two, two full humans in, let alone kids. Um, so they just said they don't, they don't take them. But not only that, most of them are full of concrete. So I'll get it now. I didn't think about that first, so I'll, say I'll have to message the filler. It saved me a bit of a drive anyway, but it's a shame because I would have liked to have got that just, just to say I've had one, you know, just to say, I don't know, it, be, it would have been good for the YouTube and all that sort of stuff. But it is one of them, innit? <clears throat> um, either way, I've still got a boiler to pick up a date and a mobility scooter plus whatever else I find while I'm out and about. Today is going to be probably a full day of scrapping I would have thought um, and, and just general pottering about doing bits and pieces I'm sure I'll get called away to do other stuff in between but it's yeah it's one of them things isn't it right I'll um, I'll, uh, oh yeah, I'll let you know what happens in a bit there's a nice little metal bathtub that'll do so pick up so far since I've been to the scrapyard another boiler now this is the one that I struggled to take apart the other day, although there is a big bit missing, so it might be a bit easier. Um, everybody said smash the sides off, so that's what I'll probably do, but I'm not doing that right now. Definitely not doing that right now. I'll move that over there. Here's a mobility scooter. So there's somewhere on there, there'll be some batteries. Um, there'll be a motor, but I probably won't bother with the motor. I'll just probably take the batteries out, or the battery out, and then just scrap the rest. Um, but yeah, poor old van's a right old mess, isn't it? Look at the state of it. 
Um, from here, I'm probably going to go. I'm going to start working towards my mate who's got a full van load because it might be a bit more. Um, and then probably take half of it now, go and weigh in, and then go back, get the rest, go and weigh in again. Just get rid of it, get it all done today. Start fresh tomorrow. Um, it's my old man's birthday today as well, so I've got, I got loads and loads to do. Right, let's get this bath in. Right, I completely forgot to record half of it. Radiators, bikes. You seen the boiler? You've seen that. I've got a dishwasher up there. I need to get the motor out of. Loads of other general stuff. An alley window, a few bits of alley. There's still another load to grab as well. There's an old motorbike up there, mini motorbike. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to weigh in any of the non ferrous yet. I've got batteries to pick up. I've got more alley. Bit, bit of stainless. Um, I'm going to whip the um, motors out of that. Them microwaves in a minute. The batteries are there off of this. Um, but yeah, it's pretty busy over the scrapyard, so it's, it's hard to record and it's just hard. Um, but I'll let you know how much I get on this. When I get the ticket in a minute, I'll let you know how much I've got, and then we'll do the same on the next one. So it's going to be like three weigh ins in one day, hopefully. Right, so I emptied off that lot off earlier, and uh, I've got the slip in my pocket, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, I've just emptied another load of just all the crap, basically, and now this is the uh, non ferris. I've also got some nice laptops for my mate Jonathan. I say nice, Jonathan, I'm sure you'll comment on the video, but do you want these whole or do you want them stripped out? I think I know what the answer's gonna be. Um, I've even got myself a trailer, look. There's nothing up with that, it just needs a floor. Right, so I'm gonna get this off. Um, I've got a load of batteries, a bit of alley, some motors, and that's about it. Um, but yeah, and I've just put a stainless sink. Dan's got rid of it, Dan's got rid of it already in the bin. Um, so yeah, I'll weigh this all off and then uh, I'll bring it back, show you the slip and we'll get the video up.